Hey tankers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we are in my IS-3A. We are on Cliff in a standard battle in a tier 8, pure tier 8 game. So top tier heavy. Uh, started off and I thought, okay, go do what the heavies do. And we'll, uh, we spawned over here in the south. I'm going to head up around, go around the hill and see what I can do. And um, that all started, you know, it was making sense. It was, it was making sense to me. That that's what we were going to do. Uh, but as you see, things change, and you always, you know, the first plan out of the out of the shoot is always the one that you're going to go with. But then, as soon as the battle starts, all hell breaks loose, and it just goes totally haywire. And you know, sometimes you have one of those games where you think you know what you're going to do, and it turns, you know, something happens and it changes, so you end up changing your plan. And then I thought for sure I'd made a huge mistake. So. Anyway, we're heading up the hill, and there goes our bulldog. He just gets totally decimated by, I'm assuming, Artie. And uh, now he's pretty much uh, worthless. He's useless right now. He's a one-shot. And I'm seeing that all of a sudden their IS-3, their IS-3A, and the P-54, they're all rushing the middle. It doesn't look like anybody's going to go around the, around the hill. So I change directions a little bit. Try to get up here and thought, okay, maybe I can get these guys if they push through these bushes. Maybe I can get some shots on them. So I push up here, which was not the smartest thing to do. I'm not getting anything, and all of a sudden I see the IS-3 over there, and I'm like, no, I don't want to. He's got a UDES, and then there's the 3A over here, and they just, they, they come directly this way. And I'm like, uh, okay. So I'm going to come over here, see if I can get a shot. There's a 54 Mod 1 right up there. Can't get any shot on him, but hey, their Artie can hit me. Get a shot into the Udez. Bounce the IS-3. T-28's making a move, but I'm not worried about him right now. Well, there's, here's the 54 mod one. He hits me and I hit the dirt. And this is about the time where I'm starting to think, oh, this is not going to work out well. This is just not going to work well. I'm not going to enjoy this. And all of a sudden, the IS-3A comes charging in. I get a shot into the side of him. He and bounce his shot, luckily. And I miss him on that second shot. Now he's, uh, luckily this Udez was here to kind of hold him up. Now I'm getting in here. All right, he's down. I take a shot from the IS-3, who also just charges in. All right. Uh, and now he's down. Thank you to my TDs. All right, well, we managed to survive that little fiasco. I thought for sure that IS-3A was going to have me. I'm down to 616 hit points. Got this T-54 Mod 1. I gotta be careful coming around this corner because there's usually TDs in the back in the backfield. And I see this Hawk 3 and he just keeps moving and I can't get a shot on him. And then he keeps looking and he keeps pushing his luck, so I'm gonna try a shot here and there. Oh, he stopped long enough for me to get a shot on him, and that's what that's what I like. So now it's time to push. We got a bat chat over there up on the hill. I take a shot from a Udez, so I duck over here to the rocks. I know he's over there. I let my uh, hawk know where he's at. And the hawk takes a shot from him. Moves and I just can't get the gun. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Love that. All right, well, then now, what was that that just annihilated my hawk? Well, that was a T28 prototype. Okay, so we gotta watch him. I thought it was the S Scorpion G there for a second. There's that SU. He's making a runner. Can I get a shot on him? Yep, yeah, he's down. I'll take that. A little payback. All right, so we got a heavy, 
three TDs to deal with. So I don't want to come barreling around that corner and be wide open. So I want to fall back a little bit. All right. See if I can do some, you know, get some, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, sniper shots, maybe. There's a Carnivon. I get a tracking shot on him. And no penetration. And no penetration. Pasha. <laughs> all right, Scorpion's down. Carnivon's all that's left. Got an SU-130 over here somewhere, and he can put some hurt on me. I know that. I'm going to Mickey Mouse it here a little bit. There's the SU-130. He's down. I don't get any more hit points. They take out that Carnivon. So uh, we'll call that the game right there. Anyway, uh, Master Third Class, Fire Four Effect, Fighter, Duelist, Hand of God, Bruiser, 98,828 in credits, 10,164 in experience. Of course, I used my uh, premium bonus on that. Team-wise, not too bad. 1,618 in damage. Got four kills for a base of 825. I fired 11 shots, 9 hit, 6 penned. Did 752 from 300 meters out. I blocked 780, and I assisted with 619. Uh, made some good credits, made some good experience, and that's again. I was just grinding credits and experience uh, for the you know free experience conversion. So I mean, highlight of this game. Well, you know, it, it turned out to be a pretty good. It turned out to be an okay game. Um, but you know, again, my initial plan was to go around the hill, uh, do what the heavies do. Uh, that changed when I saw all their stuff on the mini map moving towards the middle. And then, uh, luckily, I had the IS-3 and the IS-3A charge me, uh, which allowed my UDES to get in there and, and help out with that uh, IS-3A. And uh, we were able to, to clean that up and then, uh, of course, get a shot into there and take out their Hawk and, uh, you know, do some other damage. So, all in all, you know, plans change. You have to adapt. And I think I was able to adapt and then carry on through the late game to, uh, to help out. So anyway, that's my IS-3A on Cliff in a standard battle. If you like the battle, hit the like button. Uh, keep sending me those videos. I greatly appreciate the support. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Bonsai Duck out.